Hello dear friends of version control systems. Do you use external version control systems to manage your program blocks from TIA Portal? TIA Portal version 16 provides a version control interface that allows you to export your program blocks to an external workspace and manage them with Git or Subversion. How does this work actually? Just watch the following video. The version control interface offers the possibility to export software objects, such as program blocks, from TIA Portal into a so-called workspace, a Windows directory. VCI is not to be confused with a versioning system like Git or SVN. It offers the possibility to export elements from TIA Portal, either in source or XML format. The connection of a VCI workspace to a versioning system like Git or SVN can be done via so-called TIA Portal add-ins. These add-ins must be manually integrated into TIA Portal and the version control interface and executed manually. VCI can be found in the project navigation below the language settings. To be able to use the version control interface, a workspace must first be created in TIA Portal. Double-click on the Add New Workspace button, a workspace will then be created in TIA Portal. The workspace in TIA Portal is structured as follows. On the left side, there is an overview of the exportable elements from TIA Portal project and on the right side, there is the view of the local Windows directory, the actual workspace. Once the VCI workspace has been created, it must first be configured and linked to a Windows directory into which the elements to be versioned are then exported. First, click on the Configure Workspace button and a configuration window will open. In this window, the file path to the Windows workspace must be specified. Furthermore, there is the possibility to select an add-in for the connection of the workspace to Git or other versioning systems. If such a TIA portal add-in is available. Now the workspace is configured and can be initialized with objects. To initialize, simply drag and drop the desired objects from the left side, the project view, to the right side, the workspace. It is possible to initialize single objects or whole folders at once. After the objects have been initialized and synchronized, they are also stored as files in the Windows workspace. You can see that the LD, FUB and data blocks were exported in XML format and SEL blocks in source format. After initialization, the status of all objects is green, which means that the objects in TIA Portal project match the exported objects from the workspace. If a synchronized element is now changed in TIA Portal project, this is indicated by a status indicator in the version control interface. Then you have the possibility to synchronize changed objects from the project to the workspace and vice versa. To do this, first select the direction of synchronization via the drop-down menu and then synchronize TIA Portal project with the Windows workspace via the Synchronize button. After successful synchronization, the status of the element is green again. If you have now specified an add-in in the workspace configuration to manage your exported files from the workspace with a versioning system such as Git, this add-in can be executed from the context menu of items on the right side. Since no add-in was specified during configuration, no further entries are displayed in the context menu in this case. Like this, you can connect your external versioning systems with VCI. In addition, the TIA add-ins offer the possibility of integrating functionalities directly into the TIA portal surface, e.g. a push, a pull or a commit directly to Git. You can find the TIA add-ins as downloads in Xeos or directly via the link Siemens.com slash TIA minus and minus ins and directly here under the video. Good luck with your application. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.